How many team members does it take to make a podcast? Sounds like the start to a bad joke. Uh, no, that'd be a good joke. <laughs> when we create podcasts for organisations, one of the things that we have to look at is if you want to do it yourself, what sort of resources do you have? We've worked with companies who offer a couple of people to support the podcast, and then there are other organisations we have worked with where it's been a team of 10. It just depends the kinds of skill sets you have at your organization, how many comms people you have, how many IT people you have. So often what's required is you need someone to, or a couple of people to lead the content and creating the ideas for the content. Then you might want to consider if there are people in your organization who can write, who can do graphic design, who are technically minded, so who could do the editing perhaps, but it's always worth having more than one. So in case that oh, one, absolutely, because if that one person is sick or they leave the company, you need to have someone else who can then take over that role. And you can also think about doing part of it in-house and outsourcing part of it. Some of the processes, like the editing process, can be quite lengthy and dumping that onto someone who already has a full plate of communications, maybe they're doing your social media, maybe they're doing your written content, and then all of a sudden you're like, and I want you to do all this stuff to do with the podcast. It, it can be a little much. So it's worth sitting down and making sure that you're being realistic about how you're going to create the podcast and how you're going to make it sustainable. And if you don't have the internal resources, then what can you outsource to make it easier for you and the team? And also think about who has oversight on the podcast. We find that a lot of times there's a lot of people who want to have a say in the podcast. So it's important to understand who are the important people in the organization that will want to understand the kind of communications that are going out either to the public or to the staff? All of these things are really important to consider before you launch into creating a podcast. And we'd love to know how many people are in your podcast team. Is it just you working, toiling, doing it all by yourself? Do you have you and an editor? Um, did you do your own graphic design? Let us know how you got your podcast going and how many people it took. Just post in the comments below. <laughs>